okay welcome to another video i am the star man now if you remember from my last couple of videos uh, we're still under a lockdown situation here in the uk which means i can't go out anywhere too far to do any photographs um, of the stars or anything like that really uh, not without a good reason any, any anyway um, so i'm having to do pretty much everything from a garden unless um, we're, we're allowed to go out a couple of times a day for exercise and maybe to go to the shops but you know that's during the day you see i mean um, it, it, it's going to be a bit difficult for me to get out somewhere until they lower the restrictions uh, we'll just have to wait and see at the moment who knows who knows but anyway this video uh, is going to be about photographing uh, the crescent moon so we've got a waxing crescent moon in the sky it's actually behind me i'm not sure if you can you probably can't see it but it's up it's up um it's in this part of the sky here it's a really nice waxing crescent moon so the moon is just coming into view now in the evening sky it's come round the sun it's past new and it's starting to uh, lighten up on the right hand side which means it's waxing which means it's gonna eventually eventually it'll light up fully and become a full moon uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the telephoto lens out and we're going to have a go at photographing it and I'll see it's at the moment it's still fairly bright sky but we'll have a go what I really like to do is try and photograph it above a, um, a landmark or something like that but obviously with the restrictions I can't go out and do that sort of thing so we'll take some pictures of it as it is now where it is now in the nice twilight sky and then we'll wait for it to go down a bit and maybe see if we can get it over some houses in the distance down there so let's have a go at that then right okay so let's have a little look i'll just show you now properly where the moon was uh, let's just zoom into this looks really really nice so here we go see that there look a waxing crescent moon so it's lit on the right hand side on the right hand side which means it's waxing so once it's gone past the full moon stage it'll then start to get dark on the right hand side and it will light up on the left hand side instead so i'm now going to put the telephoto lens on and we'll have a little go at photographing this now right okay so i've actually got my camera set up here and the moon is actually quite a nice height as you can see the, the camera isn't uh, aiming upwards too much it's on uh, a fairly low angle the moon is about um, 20 degrees up uh, something like that so i've got the moon in the screen here and what i'll do is i'll just zoom in using the plus and minus i'll just zoom into the moon here and what we'll do we'll get it focused first and i'm going to use manual focus for this I've got my telephoto lens on it's a 300 millimeter lens it's an oldish lens this one it's one i've used before and you might be able to see there that the moon looks a little bit fuzzy so what i'll do is i will get hold of the focusing ring and i'll just slowly turn it until i would say about there we can now see that i can just see the craters coming out popping out now Oh, they look amazing wow look at that so i hope you can see that but that that is now i would say that is now banging focus what i'll do is i'll just take it again go yeah yeah come the other way now go back again this is a way to get precise focus i could have used af i'm pretty sure that it would af on it but um, I'm, I'm used to manual focus so uh, and another thing as well you'll notice about the moon is if you ever look closely at it you'll notice that it wobbles quite a bit and that's all to do with our atmosphere because the atmosphere is a bit like looking through a if you were in a swimming pool and you were looking up you would see this kind of effect this wavy effect and it's the same thing when you're looking through our atmosphere especially when you're looking at a lower angle because um, you're looking through a thicker atmosphere when you're looking lower down so you do see this shimmering on the moon now sometimes it's worse and sometimes it's not too bad uh, but we have a jet stream above um, the uk so it's pretty bad 
most of the time for us. So anyway, we've got the moon um, nicely in focus now. So now it's a case of picking an exposure for the, the crescent. So uh, what I'm going to do, the, the, the sky is nice and twilight, looks lovely. Um, I've gone down to base ISO. So if I come off this and I show you what the settings are. So at the moment I'm on F8. Uh, I've stopped it down to F8 for just to crisp them up the lens a little bit. And I'm on ISO 64, which is as low as it'll go. And the shutter speed at the moment is saying 2.5 seconds. Now that might be a little bit too slow, to tell you the truth. So I might need to, uh, it, we're gonna, we're gonna get movement in the moon if I use that shutter speed. So I've got to speed it up. Looks like I might have to boost the ISO up. So what I'm doing at the moment is just trying to get this exposure right. So we get a nice crescent. I don't know what's about right. So if I go on to self-timer now, it will take a picture. Right, let's have a look at this. Okay, so I've just took a picture there. Let's have a look. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that. You can see the craters. Wow. That is a very slim waxing crescent moon. And another thing as well, which I've mentioned before in a previous video, is that we can even see the unlit part of the moon. So it's only about 10% lit at the moment. So there's 90% of the moon, you can actually see the face. So there's a good time to cap, this is called earth shine, this effect here where the rest of the, I don't know if you can see it there. I'll put the picture on the screen just in case. But this uh, dark area here is actually lit up by reflected sunlight coming off the earth. So it's called earth shine. And you can actually see the face in the moon. There, I can start to see it now. But when it gets a little bit darker, you'll be able to see it easier. So I've got a nice picture of the waxing crescent moon there. So what I want to do now next is I want to try and see if I can really bring out that earth shine. But what I need to do there is I need to overexpose the lit part of the moon. So I'm not exposing for detail in the craters on this picture. I want to try and overexpose that so that we then bring out that unlit part of the moon. What I was talking about before, the earth shine, that's the light that's reflected back off the earth onto the moon, onto the unlit part. So let's see if we can do that then. Right, okay, so I've now got the moon. I've just readjusted for the moon. It's gone a little bit lower. And what I've done is I've really changed the settings now. I've, I've bumped up the ISO because I don't want the shutter speed to be too long. I don't want the moon to trail. If you're using a telephoto lens and you're taking a picture of the moon, you don't want to use such a long shutter speed that it shows trailing. Although in this case, it probably doesn't matter too much. The shutter speed here is one second I've got at the moment. If I can get that down a little bit more, what I'll do is I'll bump the shutter speed up. I'll bump the ISO to 400, say. And what I'll do is I'll knock the shutter speed down to half a second. So we've got half a second. I've opened the, the, the aperture of the lens right up to F4, so we're letting as much light in as we can. That enables us to keep the shutter speed down. ISO 400. Um, if your camera has... Um, mirror lock up or anything like that that's handy to use this particular camera has an electronic shutter so i don't need that so if i take the picture now i've got it on self timer we want to get the moon centered so i get the moon centered we'll just make sure it's in focus yeah it's still in focus so I'll just come out half a second this is going to look really nice we've actually got a little bit of flare off the street light there's a street light there causing a bit of flare there but oh, it looks too bad actually so we'll take a picture of that now what i'll do is i will put the self timer onto five seconds delay so that when i press the shutter button it it won't be bouncing around so much it sometimes bounce around a bit now oh wow Look at this. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that. See that? I'm gonna put that picture on the screen now. That's Earthshine. So that's the, 
the, the sunlight reflecting off the earth and back onto the moon again. Amazing. How good is that? So I'll take a few more pictures just to make sure the lower it gets the more it goes into this glow here so when I take this I'm, I'm thinking of taking the picture later on when it's lower down over some houses over there but we might struggle a bit with these lights so we'll just have to see what happens I might need to move a little bit okay there you are Waxing crescent moon and earth shine. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Right, okay, so there we are. The waxing crescent moon and earth shine. So I think it did really well there. And what a really, really nice um, sky as well. And considering I'm stuck in the garden and I can't go out somewhere um, more exotic, um, I think I did really well actually and um, it just goes to show that sometimes you don't need to go that far and you don't really need to go outside your garden to do stargazing or to, to gaze at the moon or to take pictures of the moon so uh, i hope this video has been some help for you and uh, look forward to the next one